M. Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog at kicks96country.com. Our guest today is returning to Kicks Country. Please welcome all the way from Charlotte, North Carolina, by way of Nashville, Seth Hopkins. Seth, how are you? Hey, Fletch. How are you? Well, welcome uh, back to Kicks Country. Now, the first time you were here, you were with Ashton Shepard. We played, you played Muscle Shoals to Music Grow Live, and you completely blew everybody away. You were a phenomenal talent, uh, very traditional country sound. So uh, now that we have actually have a chance to just kind of sit and chat, uh, uh, the folks in our listening audience have, have had a chance to already hear you on Muscle Hills Musical Live. Let's find out a little bit more about uh, Seth Hopkins and, and your home in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, like uh, grow, coming up and where your music comes from. Okay. Well, sure. I, I grew up in a kind of musical family uh, on both sides. My dad played, uh, my uncles played, uh, and uh, both my grandfathers played. And uh, so I never really stood a chance. I was going to have to learn to play <laughs> something. So, uh, you know, but it, I think it probably uh, grabbed a hold of me, you know, pretty, pretty severely. <laughs> it's, you know, kind of like a, you know, some kind of disease I never should. Cause it, you know, not meaning it like that. But anyhow, you know what I mean. It's just, you know, it's something i got to do. i got to have it. But, you know, my first concert, my grandpa took me to see Bill Monroe. Oh, wow. You know, the father of bluegrass music. And uh, it, it, it changed my life. I knew right then, yep, that's, that's what I want to do. And then about a month later, Alan Jackson came to town. And uh, we went to the in Charlotte Coliseum to see Alan, and that's what I want to do. So I was probably, you know, probably 12 years old or so then, and it just, it's been downhill ever since. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, well, you say uh, you you come from a musical family. Your father, did he teach you how to play guitar, or did well, you just? He, he did, yeah, everybody did. But. Uh, yeah. My dad's a, a lead guitar player, plays Southern rock, a lot of blues. Uh, you know, he's influenced a lot by, you know, Stevie Ray Vaughan and uh, uh, the Isaac Brothers, B.B. Uh, Kings. You know, that's that's his stuff. You know, I, my voice and, and, and blues and rock just don't collide well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but I, you know, I like to say I love it. And, and, you know, dad taught me what he could and play. I can play a little lead, but not enough when you got, you know, great pickers in Nashville. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Anyhow, but what he did t teach me that I think's you know the most important thing that, that transcends any genre is soul. You know, you gotta have soul, and you gotta have rhythm. You gotta have groove. So uh, you know, I've definitely carried those lessons with me along the way. Well, now you're you're situated in Nashville now. Mm -hmm. um, you're writing your own music. I am. Uh, are you co-writing with anybody? Uh, uh, anything uh, interesting in the, since you've made the transition from you know the world of NASCAR and tobacco fields in <laughs> Carolina? Because when I think Carolina, I always think NASCAR and tobacco. You know, right. uh, and and also you get some really really great music that come out of the Carolinas, mm -hmm. uh, obviously. Um, but you get to Nashville, you make that transition. Uh, you're now writing your own music and and you're playing your own music. Who are, are you co-writing with anybody? Is there anything interesting happening that you're like, man, this is this is going to sound great? You know, with, with me and my style. Yeah, definitely. Uh, my producer Ronnie Rogers, uh, I, I co-write with him uh, probably uh, at least twice a week. And, you know, he's had you know hit after hit after hit, and he, you know it's it's always it's like going to class when you're writing with Ronnie. And uh, I've been I've been very blessed to write with great writers since I moved to town. You know, Mark Colley showed me the nuts and bolts of a song, uh -huh. and when I first got to town, and did a lot for me career wise. Uh, Ronnie Bowman, you know, folks like that. But uh, you know, there's also some you know unknown writers on my album that you know that we write together, and we've got you know a couple great songs coming. Mm -hmm. So, but I, like I say, I've kind of been you know very very blessed you know to, to be around great writers and and kind of um, absorb the craft of it, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, just by watching. Right. So. Well, now you've um, you've got uh, your music ready to go. Um, All right, you've got almost. a single out. You got, well, you got, <laughs> you've got a single ready to go yeah. at least. Single's ready. So till the till the town burns down, tell us about the single. Is that one that you wrote or is that one that you, you, uh, you yeah, borrowed from someone? No, that's one me and Ronnie wrote. Uh, our office is the old RCA building there, mm -hmm. right beside Studio B. And the Belmont class has come through there a lot. You know, I guess on study trips or whatnot, and uh, we were standing out there one day. We just got to work, and, and Ryan said, "Man, look at all these kids coming in here, and all those kids down on Broad. It's like you know, it's just the doors wide open in Nashville. You know, everybody's coming. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's gonna try to make it." And he said, hey, "And I tell you what, they they ain't leaving till the town burns down." <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, "Yeah, well, yeah, we ought to write that." And uh, so we put a little bit of my story in it, and uh, but it, we. 
we wanted to write an optimistic message, you know, for, for you know, even the listening audience, mm -hmm. you know. When you're chasing a dream, I, you know, you don't want to quit, you know, you want to keep after it, even when it gets tough. So that's, you know, that's where that song came from. All right. We're going to get a chance, uh, hopefully, to hear him play that. Uh, we're going to have a live performance from Seth Hopkins on here. Now, if folks, after hearing, you know, what we're going to play it here today, and mm -hmm. uh, if folks, after seeing you your performance on Muscle Shoals Musical Live, if, they, if they're desperate to find more Seth Hopkins, where can they find you on the World Wide Web? Well, I'm on Facebook right now. The mm -hmm. website is under construction. Mm -hmm. um, it's coming to Amazon's and iTunes. Amazon's. It's coming. To, <laughs> it's, it's coming to Amazon and iTunes it's here, here within the next six weeks or so. Okay. Look for Seth Hopkins' his single uh, "Till the Town Burns Down." If you want to hear it, of course you call us at Kicks ninety six. We'll be happy to play it for you. Seth this is an old friend of ours. We're happy to have him back in Kicks country. Seth, thanks for visiting, man. Thank you for having me, Fletch. All right. Always a pleasure. Look for a live performance elsewhere on our site, and we'll see you next time. Another artist video blog at Kicks ninety six Country dot com. Amazon.